Welcome to Learning with Mo. In this example, we'll take a look at how we can return a price while using XLOOKUP with multiple inputs. If you take a look, you'll see our list of products here on the left. We're not using a product ID. We only have the product, the size, and the price as well. Over on the right, here's our little kiosk. What we want to do is if a customer enters the product and the size, we want to return the corresponding price. So here are our prices here as well. Now with XLOOKUP, if we run XLOOKUP, we see that we can go ahead and return, if I enter XLOOKUP here, open up the function arguments box, and we can see that we have a single lookup value. So we need a way to be able to input not just the input here, we need to be able to specify that we want the product and the size. So to do that, what we're going to do, we're, we're going to concatenate our actual input. So in other words, it's going to look something like this. Our input is going to be very smoothie. I'll use the ampersand and the size. So the ampersand is a little operator here. So if I say equals E6 and F6, it concatenates this to very smoothie large for me. Well, if I do the same thing over here, if I say equal all of my products, now we can use the array capabilities and all of my sizes. Notice how it gives me that array right here. So as long as we can find the Berry Smoothie Large concatenation, which is right here on the very bottom, we can return the actual price. Okay, well, let's see how this works here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'll go ahead and enter my XLOOKUP function. If you have not used XLOOKUP before, you could take a look at my other video that explains the basic XLOOKUP here. In this case, we want to, we have two inputs. So I'll go ahead and open up my function arguments box. I'll click on the FX here. And for my lookup value, well, it's going to be whatever is currently in cell E6 and F6. So notice it gives me very smoothie large. So it's concatenating those two for me. Well, my lookup arrays, where can I find these? So I'm gonna go ahead and concatenate all of my products. So A6 through A11, and all of my sizes, which is going to be B6 to B11. We can see the array right here, black coffee small, black coffee large. So until we get that berry smoothie large, we'll be good to go. The only thing I want to do is return the price. I'll go ahead and highlight all of my prices. Look at that, it's already found the price for me. And that is correct because the, here we go, 499, that is the price for my large berry smoothie. So now I just need to go ahead and press OK. And I'm good to go. So now the kiosk is ready. If I change my mind, another customer comes in. Let's say they want the black coffee large. I'll go ahead and type it in here. So black. And look at that. It gives the actual price, 350 which is correct for our large black coffee. If I want a small black coffee, it gives me the price there as well. So that is how we use XLOOKUP. We combine that with the concatenate feature and we can return a column based on multiple inputs. Very, very helpful when you don't have a unique ID to describe the record here as well.